Hey guys, welcome to the one on one in 10, where you get to see your favorite artists from around the world one on one in 10 minutes. I'm your host, Ayasha Roberson. I'm back on the scene with a new artist. Now they have this funky, funky style. I just love their lyrics. They're talking about all different things that we all go through in life. So they're very relevant. Has a lot of R&B influence some, and also some rock influence. They just got a lot of different influences going on in their music. So you never know what track you're going to hear and what different musical influence you're going to hear with the track as well. Mm. So without further ado, let me help you welcome to the stage first time ever on the 101 in 1 in 10, Arch Palantine. Hey. <laughs> Yes. Hello, hello. Thank you so much for being on the show and welcome. <laughs> Thank you. I am so stoked to be here. This is a this is like one of those good things that you just get to do while you're on this musical journey. Yes. You get to meet wonderful mm -hmm. people and I'm stoked to be here. So thank you for having me on the show today. You're welcome. And they're also from my hometown, Philadelphia. So I'm excited. I Yes, oh, yeah, so you from Philly? I'm from Philly. I'm from Philly. Hello, my sister. How you doing? Thank God, you for how you doing. It's all about that brotherly and sisterly love, guys. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sarah, can you tell us a little bit about how you got started in the group? How did I come up with that name? Because that name is just very different and unique. And what are your musical influences? We were, before we became Arch Palatine, we were Palatine. <laughs> And we were just Palatine, but we had to just have some nice discussions. I'll say that mm -hmm. with some other people who happen to also be named Palatine at the same time. Mm -hmm. And who was first became an issue. And instead of saying, okay, you guys are professionals. We aren't as professional as you are. You can gracefully have the name instead of it being a nice cordial conversation, it became almost a legal battle. Wow. So a brilliant friend of mine, his name is Justin Carrot, said, well, why don't y'all just call yourselves Arch Palatine? And, you know, put the arch on top and become the head of the Palatines. Exactly. So. I, when you said that, I felt like like archangels and things like that. Like, <laughs> you put a whole nother level. That's all right. You can keep Palatine. We got the Arch Palatine. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Exactly. And we've been playing music. We became officially Arch Palatine in January of 2019. Wow. Okay. And wow. we did that with like a bang. We released the album. We were like, look, we're going to be Arch Palatine. Boom. Here's an album. January 2019, new album. It has a song Turbulence on it. It has a song Fire on it. Let's go. And ever since that day, we've been excited to go and work hard. That year, we we recorded a whole nother album that we were wow. finishing up right in the beginning of 2022. I mean, 2020. And then the pandemic hit. So we took a couple hits on our group itself. Mm -hmm. I lost our drummer, we lost our guitarist. Mm -hmm. Then of course, co I mean, COVID was just, all the clubs shut down, your, mm -hmm. your um, fan bases moved to different places. It was a lot going on. We had a Pacific Coastal Highway tour set with the album to go and we wow. were gonna do it. But you know, that COVID thing, like where does it, you know what I mean? That COVID thing. So then now we're back again. We've been working hard this year. We've been playing shows and we've been getting new into the festival circuit. Uh, we got a new guitarist. His name is Cordell Anderson. We have a new drummer. His name is Aaron Wolf. Wow. And we are just poised, excited, and ready to go and play our music wherever we can and share the love as much as possible. I absolutely love it because I look at it, the universe is always rearranging the chessboard. So he, got, you know, he was just rearranging the chessboard for all these new people to come in. They were going to be this great fit for this brand new uh, band that has this great sound and you're just going to be reaching even further than what you could ever expect it. So everything happens for a reason. Every setback is a, a setup for a comeback. What? Hey, I heard so, that. I love it. So what were your musical influences? 
we okay so as a band collectively we mm -hmm. have so much of a of a variety so I grew up listening to R&B and soul, gospel and classical, being in classical choirs. My influences are Mariah Carey, Boys to Men, Whitney Houston, Celine Dion, obscure artists that people don't know, like Sandy Patty. Um, and I love David Bowie, you know, and musicals and all those kinds of things. My bandmate, Anthony, he has similar interests to me. He loves like even more R&B. He goes into like 112, Total, all these R&B groups from the past. Then my bassist and my drummer, they like similar groups like Fish and Ween. And sometimes they say things like Primus. And I'm like, Primus? What's Primus? And they let me know what Primus is. <laughs> and all these wonderful groups from around. And then Cordell is a jazz aficionado. He is a savant. He can play every instrument. You can give him flower petals and he'll make it into an instrument you're like okay how did you do that so <laughs> that's definitely a gift <laughs> mm -hmm. wow and he he can and he loves all kinds of music so I would say he's more on like the experimental jazz and that um interesting chord structure using all of the modes type of musician so yeah we have a really really solid mix of different types of, mu of music that we love I love it. I love it. And when you were talking about your, uh, what's his name again? Is his name Anthony, the person that you said was into jazz? Oh, oh that so jazz is Cordell. Cordell. Mm -hmm. So Cordell reminds me, like when you were talking about him, he reminded me of that Robert Glasper type of person that can just yes, yes, Robert Glasper putting just just putting some things together and just going yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and that's why your sound is so unique. And that's why your brand is so authentic because oh you have these just this different type of sound. And it's definitely, I just love the fact that you guys are where you're at now. It's, it's definitely a blessing to be able to experience your journey through your eyes and through your lens and, and how you were able to allow us to see your group visually even though they're not here, I can definitely feel their energy here as you talk about them as well. So can you tell me a little bit about your success stories for 2022 and maybe some of your challenges as well? Absolutely. 2022 has just been the most awesome year. I remember talking to a good friend of mine at the end of 2021, and he's like, Derek, you know, 2022 is going to be amazing for you. And I'm, his name is Jason. I'm like, yeah, Jay, you know, I'm ready to go. Like, we have an album finished. We just have to make sure that we promote it accurately. So mm -hmm. right in March of 2022, we released the first single from the album called Hypnotized. Mm -hmm. And when Hypnotized hit the scene, we were surprised because we would play shows and say the club we're like we're playing our set and the club is kind of like a few people here and there you know people have mm -hmm. the bar having drinks and and over there doing anything eating some wings and stuff and then we start playing hypnotize we were at dawson street pub all these people just ran in like here come all these people wow. as soon as we play hypnotize singing it with us going crazy having a good time we see a lot of our friends in the crowd i'm like <laughs> yo hypnotize is doing something mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so that was our big hit for the year hypnotize went off it popped off and we were all about it and that is what we wrote we've been riding hypnotize we released other singles we released can't compare which is a fun song from the album we released um why do you still love me as like a, a teaser kind of because every valentine's day because it's similar to our name, Arch Palatine, Valentine's mm -hmm. Day. Mm -hmm. We kind of try to release a little bit of a of a musical something or do an event. And so we released a song called Why Don't You Why Don't Why Do You Still Love Me? And it's just been going off. We got to play some festivals. People were hearing about us. We had never played this one festival called the Robin and Beth Fest. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was a dream come true. They gave us our own campsite. Um, they treated a, every artist there. They treated them like special. You just felt so mm -hmm. warm and wonderful and special. And the year's going on. And we're ending it with this thing called For the Music, an event on December 11th. I'm so stoked for this event. Um, it has uh, Christina Lease and Koof Knotts. It has the Tisberries and Stereo League. All these massive artists who 
we just go ahead and throw them right in with them. Hey, Archibald Time, play with these massive artists. We're like, yes, thank you. We'll wait till you see what we have in store for you for this show, okay? We're excited. So this is 2022 has been a beautiful, wonderful, exciting blessing. Um, even being with you today is part of that wonderful blessing that we are just so grateful, so thankful, and really our hearts are just so open to new adventures because of where we are right now. I absolutely love it. I love feeling all the joy and all the happiness and success that y'all have undergone this year. And that energy is going to continue on to 2023 and beyond. Now, what are, I mean, you already talked a little bit about the challenges because you talked about the group and things of that nature, and that was some of the challenges as well. So let's talk about the song Hypnotize. What was the creative process for it? Because I could definitely see people running down the street like, girl, it's my song. Hypnotized started off as I was in bed and I was dreaming and years wow. ago my aunt prayed before she passed away she was living with me and my mom for the last couple years of her life we knew that she was coming you know on the end because she had very metastasized cancer so she would come into my bedroom and we would talk and have prayer and special moments that she prayed would be one day um that God would allow me to hear the songs in my dreams and bring them to reality. And I truly believe that prayer was answered. I truly will all my heart believe it because hypnotizes here. Um, Blue skies is on the album is here song that I wrote two days ago is going to be here. Like, you know, things happen in my dream that I'm able to wake up and say, Oh, that wasn't just me singing on stage with Beyonce. That's a song that I'm writing in my sleep. Right. So I, Wrote that song. I heard this in my I heard this in my dream. And I got up and I ran to my piano, like, even I'm in the wrong key. Yeah, that's how I, like, I played it and I figured out a lot of the song. Not all of it, a lot of it. And then a day or so later, I took it to the band practice and said, Yo, guys, I've been working on this song. Check it out everybody chimed in like you know you don't have to do much once you feel like groove they're all in playing the drums and playing the bass anthony's like i got an idea too so he comes up with some funky ideas for the second verse then ben's like i got some ideas on the bass line then and we all we put it together we took it to our producer michael trichecki and from there it just became a full work of art love it now, how can people get in contact with you guys? How can they book you for upcoming events and shows for 2023? Can you let the fans know? Absolutely. Hey, if you want to get in touch with Arch Palatine, you just go to at Arch Palatine on your favorite social media and hit us up. We are a at A-R-C-H-P-A-L-A-T-I-N-E. It's like three, four letter words put together. P-A-L-A-T-I-N-E, A-R-C-H-P-A-L-A-T-I-N-E. <laughs> love it and thank you Derek of Arc Palatine for being on the show today and thank you one on one and tenors for watching this episode happy holidays to you guys and you never know what artists we're going to have on the next episode so make sure you stay tuned in and continue to shine bright take care of yourselves and see you next time bye thank you Ayasha